I'll just put this out there. Um, since it's been coming up, before we look at the comic book haul, right? I know that there is uh, getting into comic book collecting can be expensive, right? It can be expensive, but you can definitely do it on a budget, okay? And a lot of people uh, I found that they chase a lot of hot books. And if you're chasing hot books, you're going to be paying a very premium price for those hot books, right? Now, that's sort of the name of the game. That's sort of what happens in the comic book industry. But please keep this in mind if you're thinking about getting the comic book collecting or whatnot. If you stop chasing hot books, what you'll find out is you can get your hands on some amazing comic books for an amazing price. Because what you find out is some of those hot books sell for ridiculous amounts of money. And then the next issue in the series, you can buy for a dollar or very cheap relative to that hot book, right? And the next issue in the series would have the same writers, the same artists, featuring the same characters, continuing from a story that would have started from the previous issue, right? So you're getting an amazing comic book, right? that is in the series telling a grand story sometimes epic stories that continue on for dozens of issues right and you're getting it for a song and a dance sometimes you can get it in a dollar bin sometimes you can get it for less than a dollar sometimes you get to get a whole bunch of them for like two or three dollars right so if you're thinking about getting into comic books it can be an expensive hobby okay but it doesn't have to be and for me what i end up doing is when i start collecting comic books i look for amazing deals i don't necessarily chase hot books this is very very rare that i chase hot books i buy comic books for the love of comic books and i don't necessarily read right away everything that i'm dying not uh, uh, that i'm buying not even close right you know in the past i've mentioned this when we started this comic book series of videos that we've been producing which was I guess like five or six years ago, I believe in even in the first comic book video that I put out, I mentioned that I would have, at that time, I would have probably read maybe anywhere between 30, 35% of my collection, right? Right now it's probably down to, because we've been in a lot of comic book calls, right now it's probably down to like 20, 25% of the comic books I've read in my collection, right? That means if I go on a major budget or no budget where I don't have the funds to buy comic books, what I can do is go to my comic book collection and just pick up comic comic books that I haven't read and read those or reread the comic books that I have in my collection, right? Like if I stop buying comic books right now and if I kept on reading comic books every day, I probably have enough comic books to read for a decade, 10 years, right? So you're buying comic books not just because they're hot if you're really into comic book collecting you're buying comic books because they either have an amazing story to tell you like the artist you like the writers you like the character they happen to be uh, from a genre from a period that you find interesting it may be the golden age of comics silver bronze modern age whatever period it might be okay i just wanted to mention that because uh, this topic has been has come up a fair bit where comic book collecting happens to be very expensive but just like anything else whatever you do it really depends on you what you want to make of it okay